you ever played Croc 2. In fact, Croc 2 has the exact same stages. It has the regular island stage and it goes to the ice world and then... I won't do spoilers for the next one, but... Similar. Similar. So anyway, this is the ice of life. These stages get very annoying. But then again, all the stages get annoying. In fact, it's probably one of the least annoying. You'll get very annoyed with the third world. Yeah, this guy gets annoyed. What I recommend is going... Hit him, and then... And then going ahead, because you're going to need to get those crystals. And that, that last one's going to be a colored. Watch out. Watch out for his ground pound, because if he's near you, he'll just fall off. You go watch his pattern. Well, not on it, because... I don't know. Being on it, if he if he's on top of you, yeah. Point is, we're good. How the heck do you get over there? Oh, just jump on. There you go. Good level design. Why are you not in any other game? <laughs> okay. And all the all the music all, all the music's different. Now we got like icy cave stages. It's the same theme, yes. Oh, I bet you there's something on that back. There you go. I think those colored gems count as actual gems. I keep saying gems! I mean crystals! Ugh! But anyway, yeah. I I loved this game as a kid. Um, it was difficult, yes. But it kind of gave me training. Because I, I definitely did find a lot of enjoyment out of it. It is, it is supposedly... While it does have the kid appeal, it's... Oh, gosh. What the heck just happened there? And by the way, don't worry if you die... In fact, in fact, speedrunners would probably in this, yeah, people speedrun this game. Speedrunners, the yeah, speedrunners would probably just, you know, die in order to use a quick way to get to the exit of the stage, for example. Oh, just don't bounce crazy on that. Okay, thank goodness. Don't worry, I I promise I won't game over. Although I should have shown a game over straight off. The game over isn't really too much, it's just Croc running away and just, just go. Or he doesn't run away, he just walks away. This bit. <laughs> this bit. This is exactly what I mean about the ice stage. It's just going like, oh, what well, do you know, he does appear in a different stage. I was wondering, it's like, those guys don't appear in stages. Watch out for the breaking platforms. Whoa, goodness. What the heck happened there? Um, you're going to need to get that balloon, so you just got to go over here. Woo! Woo! Look at shadows! That's my aim to this game, just look at the shadows. It'll help you beat the game immensely. That being said, a lot of the precision jumping may get kind of tricky, because this one contains a gobbo, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Where's that last gobbo? I'm gonna need that last gobbo. Last of these. Oh, he's over there. Thank goodness I grabbed that key. Are uh, you, uh, colored? Yes, you are. This is like a gem. Except it came out on several systems. Uh, also, by the way, they intended this game to be on N64, but you know, they couldn't put any of the music on there. For the most part, the game would have just been over the size limit anyway, so they were just like, oh, dang it. We'd rather not butcher the game then release it on every system. Because unfortunately, N64 did have the limitation of having to require... Uh, ...mini... ...music. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, gosh! That was close. I was going like, oh, that last jump, I didn't really. I jumped from the center of the platform. That wasn't good. Okay, so level complete, that is very, very nice. Very nice of us. Where, where am I? Oh, gosh. Um, six, six, um, 
sorry, um, six lives, oh goodness. Be really careful, oh, I wonder what they're doing a pun on there. Uh, yeah. Such a good game, such a good game. You know what, considering these load times, they're a lot faster, I don't, they're a lot faster than most PlayStation games. Like seriously, it only takes like five or so seconds. I do remember this stage quite a fair bit. I, I don't remember beating the game though as a kid. It probably happened, maybe. I don't, I don't think I actually did beat the game as a kid. I remember finishing the game. I remember doing that, it took so much time. I was like nine or so, I, I, I remember, I, I'd gotten this. Fuck! <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, I remember getting this game quite, you know, as a newborn. I recommend killing those guys like that, because they'll just throw snowballs at you, and snowballs are deadly. See, even footprints! This game has the... the, the chicken. This game is the chicken. Kaboom! It's flat! I'm sorry. It's so adorable with this little backpack and everything. Um... Backtracking! Grab key, go back for thing. Usually... Someone investigate that platform down there! I would like to know what it is. I don't have the time, patience, and skill to probably jump down onto that platform. Okay, there you go. We're gonna get the gubbo, and there might be a colored gem on the way. There you go. Don't know why they they have to put a colored gem, you know, they can always put their colored gem somewhere else, because in the end, I'm gonna need to get the gobos anyway, in order to really 100% the stage. Seriously, that, the colored crystals are basically just keys to get to the end of the stage, so they may as well just say, get, um, 11 gobos then. Just put extra gobos. <laughs> But no, they, they want to disguise it with the actual crystals, so I keep saying GEMS! <laughs> Stop saying GEMS! And again, so much precision jumping, I know. <sighs> Gosh. But seriously, what kind of game just decides to do whatever it wants? It can do whatever it wants. Actually, quite a few games can do that. Back in the day, you didn't even explain how platforms were floating, because people just accepted it. People just said, this is dang fun. I don't need to know why they're floating. It's just a magical world. I don't need to explain why Croc was on a raft, and why he's in Land of the Gobos. I don't need to ask what his parents are, who are dressed in the sequel, but I don't think actually come up. In fact, that was the main idea of his journey, because he thought he got a letter from his parents, although, although, I don't know. I believe the ending, the ending credits tune is actually the same as this tune. Hmm. You know, playing the end boss, because I never played the end boss. Must get box! So that's all the crystals! Bling, 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 bling! That's what it's like. Okay, so pretty much you can kind of get get the grasp of this game. There's a lot of levels, I know that, but it's very fun considering that we're already like 20 or so percent in. Um, and this is the 90s, so it's okay if your game is five hours long. It has to be quite quite action packed, and thankfully they do quite good at that. I've not quite good at just making games very fun throughout, just constantly inserting new ideas. That being said, though, I've only played three of their games. But, but, I know exactly. Okay. Oh, no. Fatsia! Fatsia. I'll be inserting that at the end of this part. Okay, right, brr. There's password. Again, I don't know if that password actually incorporates the gobos or the, if it just goes to the level. I'm gonna say it doesn't give the gobos. 
because seriously, yeah. But I don't know. It does seem like they probably have enough passwords, but yeah. I was totally unsure about that thing, because I probably had honestly never played this these levels. Oh, I I I'd never gotten all the gobos. I am seeing it's rather easy. Die, dog! Yeah, that's right. Crocodiles are actually quite superior. Crocodiles are like some of the, some of the only animals that will a attempt to attack humans on just for, for the giggles. How do you get that? You just gotta redo this. This is pro probably one of the more s non linear stages, because for the most part, all the other stages have just been go straight from the start to the end. This is kind of, there's a hub world, and you kind of keep hopping around, but you get keys and stuff. So, more underwater! Yay! I'm sorry, how many levels are we in? We are up to the ninth main level, and this is the second time we've gone swimming, and the first necessary time we've been going swimming. That's how you d destroyed the boxes, by the way. You gotta do that. Well, then again, if they do... Since they do swimming levels like this, then it's... You know, they don't have to develop a way to jump in and out of water. That was one thing that a lot of games didn't quite get right. Just the ability to jump out of water very nicely. First-person shooters got it quite well, actually. Because you didn't really need to jump. They just did shores. Shores work very well. Then this, it's just like, you know, separate things. Oh! It's the same thing, except we're on ice. Yeah, when you're over a moving platform, you move with it, which kind of gets annoying, but it's good if you want to, like, trap something like that. So now I've got a key, which means I can... Now I'm back to the, to this room. We've got three gobos. We're going to need another one. I believe you get the other key from that room there. So you're wondering what crazy antics can the second game do? Actually, it does quite a few crazy antics. Someone play too much Frogger! I'm sorry. What he did? Jump! Charlie. I need that key, but... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna need that key in order to beat the stage anyway, because there's no... The end of the stage isn't in this room, it's in that first room. Get another key, ooh. Yeah, that's right, you want to get that key up there. There you go. You got that key. Oh, oh goodness. I died. Speedrunning tactic! <laughs> Just back it out of the stage. So yeah, remember, when you die, ev every single crystal will, re will replenish. That being said, though, if you and whatever you collected will stay there. They're very nice with that. That being said, though, you can't you can just grab something. But for the most part, yeah, grabbing stuff is good enough. So what you need to do is now grab the balloon, which will drop you down on this platform, which will allow you to firstly get that gobo because you've got five of them. Second of all, will allow you to get oh, that was close. But will also allow you to get to this, which will finish the stage. Almost, almost. We still got one more, one more um. Think of these platforms. Platforms like this will be will be the uh, most annoying thing ever. Because look at it, you have to time it. It's not like you just have to run across it really quickly. You actually really need to time it well. Where are we going? I do like this. Oh, look at this! Seriously. They're purposely even using the tiny platforms that they got over there. Thankfully, dying is okay. Dying is okay. It's just failing a challenge, like that last one, you know? Which I probably could have jumped in the water anyway. Dang it! Seriously, these tiny platforms. They were probably the most annoying thing. So anyway, we did that, and it's boss time. For boss time! That's not my line. I need a line. I need a catchphrase. Chumley Snowden! 
These enemies are a little bit uninspired, I will say. They're just regular animals. In punching form. Seriously, the past two bosses. But yeah, like nine bosses, that's that's quite a good amount, considering that none of them repeat, which is very nice. And how many stages did I say it was? It was, um... What was it? It would have been 27 plus 8, so that's 35. Still, yeah, that's a lot of good stages. I remember someone saying, that, um... What was it? Mario 64 is a lot better, because... Uh, hub worlds with different objectives. It's like, yeah, there's different objectives. There's a lot of stuff... Up. What the heck is that thing, and how come attaching a crayon to its back... I know, it's a jetpack. <laughs> but attaching a crayon to its back... Ah, oh, well. This stage... Pretty annoyed me. Pretty annoying. Not too annoying. But this bit right here, that was like, whoa. Again. Grab crystals. No gobos, no gold. No colored crystals. Just, you know. And also a bit of a platform section, because... Because you can't make the stage too easy, you know? If it's just the boss, then it's very easy. It's like, um... Mario 64, you know? The boss stages, you don't jump straight into the boss. You've got a stage. In fact, most people remember the first bout stage. I don't. I remember the last Bowser stage in Mario 64. I can't remember the first one. Oh, goodness. Bowser. So you may be going, what the heck are we doing now? Watch out! Go get ya! Guess how you beat him. Uh, maybe you gotta wait for him to run out of his thingo. And then you hit him when he's down. You know what's annoying? The bosses still hurt until you hit them. It's like they have an invincibility timer. It's actually a... While they're a little bit uninspired, it is quite clever. Ooh. So if you get hit, then you're pretty much stuffed. Or you could just do that. That works too. Unless if you get hit, in that case it doesn't work. I'll just let him fall down, like, straight away. Me? <gasps> Boom. A soup! <laughs> That's what he's saying, a soup. Me? I am not getting tougher! <laughs> <laughs> so the jetpack falls off his back and he's okay. He wasn't even brainwashed, he just had a jetpack on his back. Maybe it was a... Crocodile seeking jetpack. Okay, before I go to Ice Snow him so well, I'm gonna go back to it. Be really careful because I'm gonna see if I can do that. Jump cut! Also, may I just say that the original game, um, this is the original game, uh, the PC version, if it's not updated at 1.1, you can't use DirectX. You have all these weird rendering engines which aren't used around today. Everyone just goes OpenGL or software rendering, but they didn't have OpenGL, which is very strange. I don't think it was around at the time, but OpenGL is probably the best, but DirectX allows you to do fancier things. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna catch all of them. Whoop. Kill! Oh, thank goodness I can do that. I might actually get game over just because I'm probably not going to be doing too well at this. If only I could adjust that camera. I think it's all in the same spot. I think I can jump off even. I think that it's just also left and right. Go! Ugh! How could you? Okay, that's 13, come on! Oh, and a heart! Or is there a gobble in the last one? Oh. 
That counts! That counts! St keep going! <laughs> keep going! Oh, for goodness sake. Thankfully that was a life, so I can keep doing it! Yes! Oh, gosh. Th this is brutal. This is probably why I never got all the gobos. Because it just do this. I think there's an option to actually get the music tracks to repeat, but seriously. <laughs> Besides this stage. And by the way, this background sound wouldn't have been there in, in my musicless PC version. That's the sad part. It would have counted as an. I don't think it would have been music, but I don't know, I just never played. Oh, I guess it did re does repeat. Thankfully, there's extra lives, which is very nice of you, game. Too nice. Okay, so thankfully, yeah, that's very nice of them to do that. Why didn't I kill myself before? There you go. Okay, come on, that's 20. 21. 22. Oh, they're gonna pull. It's been on the same one. Up. Oh, come on! Up. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm gonna run away now. Cause it's like, yeah, we know what you're after. Jeez, thirty. Jeez, that's tough. Yeah, I'll see you kids next year. Or well, next time. Cause that's a secret stage, cloud device. We're on to I snow him well, and wow, this has been quite a lengthy recording. Um, I snow him well. Thirty percent. That's good. Okay, I'll see you kids then. Woo!